Welcome to the Cannington Saturday Quaddy Preview. Let's get straight into it. Race 5 kickstarts the Quaddy at 8.35. It's over 530 metres. In fact, three of the four Quaddy legs are over that distance. And as you can see, this first race is a rip snorter. Plenty of chances, very even field with Star Kid, one of the hardest to beat despite wearing the green. He ran a good second here last Saturday. Early speed chart tells us that basically any of these eight could lead, although on the case number four has been missing the kick a lot lately. She'll need to return to her brilliant box manners from when she started, although she did heavily collide with a dog in her first maiden winner. And let's go to the probability, the winning probability, and oh very even indeed very even star kid has the top winning probability percentage of 19 galactic rose on 15 along with purple range purple range still trying to crack it for a win in wa let's move on to race six jerry the jet looks very hard to beat here he's drawn box three bell's image in two is first up b top still hasn't won in wa and mr deal hasn't won for a while either Early speed chart, expecting a big white column here for Jerry the Jet. There it is. He's expected to find the front quite comfortably. Mr. Deal from eight might have a bit of toe along with one and two, Bell's Image and Spring Sapphire. The probability, well, that's a big chunk. It's like a big Pavlova with Jerry the Jet having 40% winning probability. B tops, best of the others. Moving on now to race seven, it's a distance race. Brad Keel's been in fine form, winning the Lou Dorser last week with You Know Dylan. He has Mantra Miss in this event. She's rising to the distance for the first time, but she did win brilliantly over the 6-4-2 last start. She's drawn box four. Former Victorian stay of Phil's mate has box five. Early speed chart. Hermes Luck from three to show speed, but Mantra Miss has a massive column there and she's expected to find the front and be awfully hard to catch. And look at Phil's mate, just a tiny little blot on the radar there for the yellow column. Expect him to get a long way back. The probability, big blue pie, Mantra Miss with a 52% probability of winning this race. She is having her first start over the distance but Frisbee fancies her to win quite easily. Phil's mate clearly second best with a 16 percent that might be a good exactor option taking four from five but i'm guessing that frisbee will stand mantra miss out in his quaddy final leg race eight interesting race plenty of early speed in one two three and four pure volume duty of care's been racing well october typhoon second up from a spell and lyrical rumble is a last start winner as well early speed chart pure volume with a big column there He'll be booting up from the inside. He's a recent Northern winner as well. Duty of Care, October Typhoon and Lyrical Rumble also expected to be up there contesting the early lead. And number six, Spiral Road. Looks like he's going to be a long way back at the first turn. Now winning probability favours the red runner Pure Volume, 30% for Pure Volume and 18% probability for Duty of Care, October Typhoon and Lyrical Rumble and numbers five, six, seven and eight given hardly any chance at all. Let's have a look at Frisbee's quaddy. In the first leg, he's going with one, three, five, six and eight. So five runners in the first leg. Second leg, three and six. Jerry the Jet and B-Tops at value. So three and six in race six. Go to race seven. And Mantra Miss not stood out. He's going to include Phil's mate as well. I suppose if she doesn't run the trip, it's nice to have a bit of insurance. And in race eight, one, two, three, and four. They're the obvious quartet of chances in the final leg. So one, three, five, six, eight from three and six from four and five from one, two, three, four. The cost, $40. Now my quaddy, in the first leg, I'm playing it wide. One, three, four, five, six, and eight. In the second leg, one, three, and six. I think Spring Sapphire might get a nice run off the inside. In the third leg, I'll stand out Mantra Miss. I think she'll lead throughout. And in race eight, one, two, three, and four. That'll cost $36 for the 50 cent unit. And just before I go, don't forget race three's a quartet jackpot at Cannington this Saturday night. And I like back on schedule, race 10, number three for Ken Duncan. I think the extra distance is going to suit him. Until next week, or until the next time you see me on a preview, good luck and good punting.